Hello guys, I'm back. The holiday season's over, 2015's on the high rise, and that means another great year for Warcraft 3 and another great year for Thendis. First, let's do my standard, make sure I'm not lagging, make sure the overlay's up, both are good. Awesome. Windows mouse captured, derped a little. I know it's been a while. I know, I haven't been treating you guys like I should. Oh, there's no observers. No, oh, that's great. But two reasons have kept me from doing casts lately. One, it's the holidays and I've been pretty dang busy. Two, there hasn't been that many, like, great replays. I had to go way back to find this one. So, let's hope it's enjoyable. Alright. Spawning as the Green Night Elf, we have Wolver. And his opponent, spawning as the Teal Night Elf, we have Beretta. Night Elf versus Night Elf here on... I forget this map. You see, I, um, I had a late work shift last night, so I got like three hours of sleep. And I thought to myself, before I go to sleep, let's do a cast. That way it can be all on YouTube and stuff while I sleep. Just for you guys' amusement. Alright. Looks like the Green Night Elf's gonna go Demon Hunter first. And Demon Hunter for Teal. Now, Night Elf Mirror matchup, I don't see too many of these. But what I do know is... Seeing a Priestess of the Moon or a Keeper of the Grove first is actually not that uncommon. Now, in Night Elf Mirror, I've seen many strategies from mass archers to mass slave throwers thanks to star shape. So, it really just depends on the player. There really is no standard in Night Elf Mirror. I heard, I remember hearing something about talons, but... This game was taken off the War 3 arena ladder, I believe, because there's no observer. It's okay, though. Thendis makes do with what he does. Both of these players deciding to um, ancient a war creep the goblin um, a laboratory camp right next to their base, and if it seems like I'm out of it, it's because I am. I am tired. We have to see what item the players get here, as both of them will successfully creep this camp. Claws of attack for teal, and claws of attack for green. This is a true mirror, folks. Are they both going to creep out the green spots? Looks like no. Looks like Teal's gonna try to do himself some harassment. Meanwhile, Green's gonna le keep creeping. Both Demon Hunters are at level two. Oh nope, Teal missed it by a little. Should he snipe off a wisp or something, he should be able to get that kill. Mana burning each other now. On a mana burn off with the Demon Hunter, usually the one who mana burns first wins. That's if they're both starting with like the same amount of mana. Teal getting himself level 2, doing nice multitasking, creeping out the green spot with his hero harassing over here. That's the kind of multitasking I wish I could do. Looks like Teal's beginning, uh, Green's beginning his tech to tier 2, and Teal's a little bit ahead. Meanwhile, Teal's keeping on the harassment. Did get the last hit on that, but Green did get the item. Very nice pickoff by Teal. I hope me being tired doesn't make this cast crappy. Ooh. I know what you're thinking. Mirror matchups aren't the most fun thing to watch, but... Hey, you make do with what you got. What do you mean? Oh, no, 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 no. Ah. I'm so sorry for that. I was just making sure I wasn't lagging. Alright, Huntresses. It looks like Green's gonna go for a little Huntress play here. And we have no Hunter's Hall for Teal, so it looks like he's going to stick with Archers. Green picking himself up Boots of Speed. Very nice item on a Demon Hunter. Teal does not have Boots of Speed. So if he tries to run away from Green, he won't do so. He goes to the shop seeing if there's Boots of Speed, but there wasn't. He's going to pick himself a Staff of Teleportation. Meanwhile, Green's continuing to produce Huntresses. And a nice another mana burn. Keeping the I guess the other players' mana burns at minimum, but right now none of the players have enough mana for mana burn. <laughs> Demon Hunter getting a little bit low. He's gonna have to try to run away, but he doesn't have boots of speed, so green is faster. Very sneaky. 
Teal managing to find a way to sneak a wisp by the base. I don't think Green knows about that wisp. Now, I know next to nothing about this matchup, so when these players hit tier 2, they could go for anything. I just wouldn't know. I'm guessing they would both go for Ancient Allure play. I'm just not sure. Their items are pretty identical, other than Green having more of them. It looks like he's going to creep out the Goblin Shop camp. The Goblin Merchant camp. Alright, he's at Tier 2. He's going to pick himself up a Keeper to Grove as his second hero choice. And it looks like we will see Ancients of Lore. Meanwhile, Teal picks himself up a Naga Sea Witch as his hero choice. And we also see Ancient of Wind. Okay. Looks like it's going to be Ancient of Wind versus Ancient of Lore. This Ancient of War getting caught off during transit. He's probably going to use him to creep out this creep camp. Man, I hate it when there's no observers. It's just, it's just not the same. I think you all can agree. It's just not the same without observers. Alright, Mana Burn going on to Naga. You want to make sure she doesn't have that many frost arrows. Naga is a weak hero at level 1, so it's pretty easy to... Uh, d -d 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 like I was saying, it's pretty easy to snipe her off. E. That Naga didn't last long. Alright, keep it Groves out. Did he go for Entangle? No, he went for Trends. Okay. Trends can be dispelled by Wisps, though, so that's something to keep in mind. It looks like the Keep It Groves getting very dangerous. There's no Moonwall juice for this. And there's no shop either. So he can't buy himself a healing pot. He's going to suck up what Moonwall juice he can. Ancient of War is done. He's still at tier 2, so it looks like we'll be seeing Dryads as full master bears is tier three you can still get druids of the claw it just won't be the same Our sacred grove is meanwhile teal's deciding to get himself um druid of the talon and he's not getting tier three so I, I don't know if this is standard or not teal's still in green space and greens looks like he's going to do a little push of his own if he lands the, if he keeps that ancient of wonder in the way he should be able to find Although, Ancient Wonder is not exactly meant for tanking. Green's Demon Hunter is getting very low. And the Keep of the Grove is not in great shape either. Alright, Staff of Teleportation coming in. Ooh, that Demon Hunter could have got sniped. Speaking of Demon Hunters, run! Run, Nelly! Archer getting caught in a bad spot. Green Demon Hunter gets level 4. Uh, current food supply is 38 for Green, 36 for Teal. Uh, level 2 Teal Demon Hunter and level 1 Naga Sea Witch versus level 4 Green Demon Hunter and a level 1 Keeper of the Groove. No expansions by any of these players or a tech to tier 3? Alright. Green is tech into tier 3, which means we will probably see bears later on. Demon Hunter! Did it, did it, did it. Ooh. Gonna be forced to TP. This match is pretty action-packed, if you ask me. Now, Huntress is with Fairy Fire. Teal does see all this, so he can, like, see stuff. And apparently, Green picked him up a uh, Goblin Shredder, because you always see Night Elves with Shredders, right? Ooh, Green Demon Hunter's in a very bad spot. He's gonna have to run himself away. Alright, Teal's now in the assault here. Green's gonna have to work up some kind of defense. Looks like he's gonna add the Goblin Shredder into help into this fence. Goblin Shredder does a decent amount of damage. And it looks like Teal's just gonna back up. Has plenty of this if she folks down to Huntress. As Goblin Shredder goes down, Teal gets a level 3 Demon Hunter now. Mana Burn going down on Green. Trent's going to get this in defense. Green's just trying to get any little bit of defense he can. His Demon Hunter's getting down a little. Is he going to get staffed? He doesn't have a staff on the Keeper to grow over on. This is not looking very good for Green. Keeper the Grove getting a bit of the old focus. Run, you half-man deer thing. Teal remaining at tier 2. Still producing off a of one Ancient of Wind. 
Green's also at one inch in a lore. And his demon hunter is going to have staff TP away. Come back to his base. Archer looks like going to get caught out a little. Naga Sea Witch getting level 2. Green Demon Hunter has a death wish. Gonna get rejuvenated, I hope. Thank you. And Green's base is just gonna slowly get sieged here. He's getting mastery training, so it looks like he's gonna get actual bears. Steph TP going down in the Keeper of the Grove. Teal's playing it very smart. He doesn't want to overcommit to this base. He knows he can just slowly siege it down here. Mana burn going down the Druid of the Claw. Green's just trying very hard. His wrists are now getting sniped off. Keeper of the Grove got himself an Orb of Venom. And this just doesn't look good for him. This Night of Mirror match looks pretty dang one sided. Let's do the talons hurt. Even the shop getting sniped off here. Teal picking himself up a goblin zapper. And I don't know how he's going to be able to hold this, actually. Mana burn going down on Teal's demon hunter. If he gets the demon hunter down, that might be a good start, but he does have an invulnerability pot. Oh, will he use it in time, though? Alright, looks like he's going to TP. This gives Green a bit of breathing room. I don't know how much... I don't know how much it'll do him though. He lost a lot of moon wells and stuff from that attack. Your building is complete. Meanwhile, Teal teching up to tier three, adding himself another ancient of wind. Heck, Teal could go shims if he wanted to. Our sacred grove is being desecrated. Goblin Zapper being used on the Ancient of Wonders. There's still one more right here. Keep have to keep an eye on that zapper. Research finished. And it looks like Teal's gonna prepare for another assault here. Current food supply is twenty nine for green versus forty five for teal. Alright, zapper's going out. Will he get a good explosion? I think he will. Not actually. Oh oh. Looks like Hunter's Hall is going to be the next to get sniped down by this Drew the, the Talon army. Green trying so hard to produce units here. Mana Burn going down on the Naga Sea Witch. Rejuvenation is hope keeping this Demon Hunter alive. Mana Burn going down on Teal's Demon Hunter. Keeper to Grove still at level 1. And I don't know how Green's managing the hold. I'm telling you. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. Teal could get away with shims. I kind of want to see shims. Ooh, meanwhile, I'm missing this engagement. Drew to the claw getting sniped down. Naga Sea Witch getting very low. Is going to use some um, invulnerability pot. Green's Demon Hunter gets staff of preservation. And that bear gets staff of preservation. Nice staffs. Whoa. Sneaky little wisp. Sneaky little wisp. During all this creep, uh, Green's gonna try to get an expansion, possibly? He'll have the resources to do it, but I don't know. 
If he could pull it off without Teal knowing, Teal gonna get himself a Goblin Tinker as his third hero choice. Oh, and it looks like we're gonna have a Creep Jack! As if things gonna get worse for Green, he's gonna get Creep Jack. I'd pick up the items and leave. Potion of Invulnerability, very nice. Ooh, Cyclone being used on the Demon Hunter. Will he get surrounded? He will. He is gonna get Staff of Preservation by the Keeper of the Grove, though. Keeper of the Grove now getting himself that, but the Demon Hunter does have a Staff of his own. Mana Baron going down on Teal. Keep it a grove, remaining CC'd, as there are plenty of Cyclones in this army. Demon Hunter getting low. And he's gonna get Cyclone. Keep it a grove getting caught in a bad spot. Forked Lightning going down on him. Oh my god. Teal is whipping him some ass. Teal is whipping him some ass. Demon Hunter getting low. Gonna have to use his potion vulnerability. Rejuvenation does go down to Demon Hunter. Green doesn't even have an altar to remake his Keeper. He's just trying to produce anything he can. Dryads, anything. How do you get the Keeper? I th whoa, 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 whoa. How'd you get it from the tavern? I thought you needed an altar to do that. You know, out of all these years I've been playing Warcraft 3, I thought you needed an altar. Uh, I feel so lied to. Well, the Keeper of the Grove is back. And Green will need anything he can to help defend this. Ancient Protector gonna get taken down. Keeper gonna see if he can run his way back into the base. There's just so many Cyclones keeping Green at bay here. I don't know if he can hold this. Mana Burn going down on Teal. Staff Preservation being used on Green. Green has good Migra, I'll give him that. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. Pocket Factory being a little bit annoying. Rejuvenation going down to keep it to go. Goblin Tinker getting a little low on health. I'm telling you, Teal, you can get away with shims. You can get away with murder here. Current food supply is 30 for green, 50 for Teal. Goblin Tinker hits level 2. I believe Naga got level 3 as well. Keeper to Grove getting surrounded. That Cyclone surround though. And he will go down again. Naga Sea Witch goes down though. Teal, Teal doesn't have a staff, does he? I don't know why you want to get staff preservation. It is such a good item. The cooldown on it is ridiculous. Cyclone going down on Green's Demon Hunter. Is he going to get surrounded again? He will. But I see some weak archer that might let him out. There he goes. Level 5 on Green's Demon Hunter. He is going to get Cyclone again. Out. Ooh. Our warriors have engaged Green picked himself up a zapper. Is he going to blow this up in the army? Oh my god. Oh my god. I've never seen the goblin zapper used like that before. I didn't know they could blow up on units. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, is he going to rejuve off the demon hunter? Rejuve the demon hunter! Rejuve the demon Oh! You know, I am rooting for you, Green. I love an underdog story. Teal's demon hunter getting very low here. Ooh, if he would have got mana burned, that might have been enough. Drew to the claws, bearing it up here. Teal's Demon Hunter using a potion of vulnerability. You know, these things still look grim for green, but they're starting to look better. Both players' gold mines are starting to run a little bit low here, as none of them have expansions. Although, Teal did, cr I mean, green did creep out one. So that's something to keep in mind. Meaning he could walk his ancient over if he wanted to, or he has enough resources to build another tree of life. We'll just have to find out. Naga Sea Witch has been resurrected. Looks like she got resurrected the old-fashioned way. I'm telling you, Teal, you could get away with shims. Bloody frickin' murder, dude. I would do it. Put some shim roosts, like, over here. Where you, hopefully they don't get scouted and just frickin'... That's what I'd do. 
finally rebuilding his altar green did and it looks like he's gonna get his keeper to grove keeper is at level two so the resurrection time shouldn't be too bad nice to spell sucking away that mana I'm supposed to be an unbiased commentator but I want green to win that is like that would be the ultimate underdog story they would make a movie out of this game and it looks like Teal's preparing for another assault, making sure Green can't rebuild. Green's starting to get some units out here. It's currently 33 supply for Green versus 42 for Teal. Uh, will the Keeper of the Grove get out in time? That is the question. Oh, uh, it's going to be close. Mana Burn going down to Naga Sea Witch. Naga getting focused. Anti-magic pot was being used on Green's Demon Hunter. Making sure he can't get Cyclone. Looks like the Keeper of the Grove will be able to get out in time. Oh yeah, Dryad's Abolus Magic can be used on Cyclone. Derp. Fork Lightning going down, taking out a bear. One bear goes down. Rejuvenation on Green's Demon Hunter. Cyclone going down. Dryad going down. There's just so much going on here. Staff of Preservation being used on the, 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 I don't know what that was, a bear? The altar did its job, the keeper's back. Forked Lightning being used, mana burn onto the Naga. God, this is action packed. Alright, the gold mine for both these players have collapsed, so we're going to have to see what this means for them. It's doing that annoying bug where it still shows the gold mine there. That's why I hate playing without observers, but this replay has definitely been worth it. You know, if it wasn't for rejuvenations, Green would have lost his Demon Hunter so many times. Anti magic pot being used on Demon Hunter, making sure he cannot be Cyclone as the mana burn sucks away the last of the Naga's mana. And he looks like he's gonna focus the Naga down. Level 5 Demon Hunter is pretty powerful to this Naga. Ooh, does use a healing pot. And he does get Cyclone as the anti magic pot worn out. Cyclone on both these heroes. The CC is real in this game. Another bear goes down. Green doesn't have any more money to produce anymore. Both these players have a Wisp here, planning on expanding possibly. Green's Demon Hunters is surrounded though. He does have a healing pop. I don't know how good it'll do him. He does use it to keep him alive that just that much longer. Ooh, nice staff. I forgot about the keeper and his staff. I may sound like it's bland and this was all scripted. I'm just tired. This is about as peppy as I get. Ooh, I wouldn't rush headlong into that army though. I I'd, I'd back you, Demon Hunter there. A mistake like that could lose you the game. Keeper the Grove getting an entangle onto the Demon Hunter as he gets surrounded. Demon Hunter gets rejuvenated. Staff of Preservation using the Keeper. Staff of Preservation and Rejuvenation is the wombo combo for green right now. If you're wondering what the wombo combo is, don't ask me. I don't even know. Cyclone on the Keeper and it looks like Teal's going to TP away, but will the Demon Hunter live? Oh! Ho -ho! <laughs> that staff though if the cooldown was just one second longer that would be one dead keep uh, look at that two health nice work green I give that man props he's earned my clap mega luck right he's earned that Jesus Alright, Teal managed to build himself another tree of life. It looks like he's going to creep out this spot. Green has no choice but to uproot his tree of eternity and moving over there. The thing that's risky about this is your tier 3 building could possibly get sniped on the way to the gold mine. And Teal has a wisp here, so if a tree was to be put down, he would see it. It currently is 46 supply for teal, 26 for green. 
The hero levels are for Teal, level 4 Demon Hunter, level 3 Tinker, level 3 Naga versus... Versus... Level 5, I know I could have clicked that, level 5 Demon Hunter and level 2 Keeper of the Grove as Mana Burn goes down to Tinker. Cyclone going down on the Demon Hunter. Looks like he will get surrounded again. Uses an anti-magic pack, make sure he can't get Cyclone again as he does focus down this Tinker. This Demon Hunter actually does quite a bit of damage, plus 11 with these claws. Naga getting very low on health. Oh, one mana burn could have took her down. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. <coughs> I don't like to cough on the mic. I'm sorry when I have to. Where's, where's the Demon Hunter? Demon Hunter is focusing down on Naga. Meanwhile, Keeper of the Grove's going to try to run away and I... Naga does go down. Oh, will the Tinker go down? Oh, could this be Green's comeback? Meanwhile, Keeper of the Grove is getting very dangerously low here. Goblin Tinker does go down. We have a level 6 Demon Hunter. Oh. If this... If Green would have a chance, that level 6 Demon Hunter would be it. You need to stock him with invulnerability pots, anti-magic pox. Make sure he can't get cycloned and go freaking demon form. Holy crap. Uh, does Teal see this expansion? Alright, Teal does see this expansion. So he knows this is happening. Ooh, I don't think that was supposed to happen. Kobolds are a little angry at those druided talons. Mana burn on the Drew of the Claw. That's not very good. You want rejuvenation on him. Looks like gonna run away. Is he gonna get killed by the creeps? No, we got Teal getting level 5. Alright. Green's last hope of chance here is with this level 6 Demon Hunter. Is this is his last chance of survival. Alright, here he goes. Metamorphosis being used. He's gonna try to get me. T ah, he just gets Cyclone though. Meanwhile, Green has an expansion going up, and I believe Green does see this as well. Meanwhile, freaking chasing him down. You're a demon hunter. Why is the demon chasing you? There you go. Do what your hero title says. Hunt that demon. Sad to say, though, Metamorphosis does a lot more damage, as he does do chaos damage. And with an orb of venom, that's gotta hurt. One talon goes down. He's just trying to get all the talons down. Another talon goes down. He's this wiss has been seen. Cyclone being used on Demon Hunter. His Metamorphosis is starting to run out here. He's gonna have to get as much damage as he can. If I was him, I'd focus down as many talons as he possibly can. It looks like he's gonna run away while he still has Metamorphosis. As he does have a lot more health, as you can see. I don't know how Green's held out this long. Lord knows I won't be able to do this. <laughs> Lord knows that. Green has quite a bit of gold. I'm surprised he's not buying units. I don't know why you're not buying units here. You got plenty of supply to do it. Anti magic pot being used. Looks like he's gonna snipe one town off. Anti magic pots cost a hundred gold. I believe towns cost more than a hundred gold, so in a way it's good. Keep it a grove, gonna get resurrected at the neutral here in Tavern. I just realized both his heroes have orb of venom. Cyclone going down on both these heroes. And Teal's army's dwindling. It's twenty supply for green versus 27 for teal. Wow. Green has definitely made this comeback. Mana burn going down. Still has enough for that cyclone though. Whoa. Looks like a Mr. Goblin Zapper. Zapper doing what they do best. Blowing stuff up. Alright, we got a fight going down here. Teal is by his moon walls though, so he does have the advantage with this fight. And Green does have fairy fire on him. That's not a fight you'd be able to win. Alright, now he's beginning to build units. 
Teal's Demon Hunter overstepping a little. Why isn't the rest of his army coming there? Ooh. This game is so close. A teeniest little mistake could just set things over. Mana Burn going down to the Keeper. This Wisp is still there. I don't think Green knows about it. Whoa. I forgot. This map has the flying sheep. Your building is complete. Look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. He's so scared. He's like, I'm flying. Oh yeah, and it has the Zergling too. Starcraft reference if you guys don't know what Starcraft is. I know I'm I'm keeping an eye on the mini map. I just I just like this sheep. Look at him fly, baby. Fly high, sheep. Fly to new and better places. Away from this war zone of elves. Hunter's Hall going down as you need a Hunter's Hall to rebuild any ancient lores. Meanwhile, Teal continuing the bombardment of Goblin Zappers. Looks like I'm going to start keeping my eye on that. God, I hate using... Look, look at my minimap. It still says all these buildings are here. That's why I hate using it without fog of war. It bugs so much. Alright, chance going down. Looks like Green's gonna try to snipe off this tree of life. Roar goes down. Teal's gathering up his army. Looks like he's gonna go. Metamorphosis being used here. Entangle going down on Teal's. Oh. Is he gonna get surrounded? He is getting surrounded. You can't walk through the cyclone. Does he have any staffs? He's not gonna get the staff, but it looks like he's gonna use invulnerability pot instead. Meanwhile, Demon Hunter uses an anti magic pot. Forked lightning going down to Keeper. Keeper getting very low. Oh, Frost Arrow slowing him down a little. Ah, this is so tense. I think the Keeper will get away. Yes, he will get away. Meanwhile, Green's Demon Hunter's just wreaking havoc. Ooh, that's a lucky talent. Who's a lucky talent? You're a lucky talent. Where'd the Keeper Hunter go? Uh, I'd say Keeper Hunter. I need to get some sleep. Mana Burn going down on Green's Demon Hunter. One talent goes to down. His metamorphosis is starting to run out a little. And when it runs out, it'll be very low in health. And vulnerability pot actually going to be used here. More dryads. Uh, talons are going down as the dryad's been added to this army. She didn't last very long, though. Mana burn on the keeper. He does manage to get the trents off. Metamorphosis is pretty much out. Now we... Demon are going to have to run away. Naga. Naga goes down. The trents killed her. Woo! Go Trance! Oh! Cyclone going down! Kobolds want a piece of the action! Oh! Oh! Staff! Oh! 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 No, the Demon Hunter goes down! Oh no! He has enough gold to pick him up at the tavern! Do it! Do it! Get him! Do you have enough? Level 6 here, huh? Alright, Demon Hunter's been picked up at the new trio tavern. Keeper the Grove getting himself surrounded. Oh, this is so tense. Keeper the Grove surrounded. Teal's Demon Hunter is getting focused down here. Oh, if he goes down. Oh, Teal's Demon Hunter goes down. Will the Keeper get away? Run, Keeper, run. The Green Demon Hunter still has. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, that's the best game ever. It's so worth no ha having observers. <laughs> How did Green win that? If that was me, I would have lost in the first, like, five minutes. Holy crap. Oh, I need to get sleep. <laughs> if you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you want to watch me play Warcraft 3, follow me on Twitch. And I'll see you later.